Stirring the coffee with chopsticks using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started first. Coffee. Guatemalan coffee. Made the cowboy coffee way. Nice. What a nice change. I've I've said this for several years now. Ethiopian, number one. Guatemalan, number two. Love it. Look at this library and studio. I probably probably could crank out a book a year with a situation like that, or so I delude myself into thinking. It's got a fireplace, a nice view out the window. I would be set. I kind of reacted primally when I saw that. Like the average efficient office doesn't do it for me. I look at this and I go, yes, I could spend a lot of time in there. How about you? We're supposed to get minimum 12 inches of snow today. Two days ago they said it's going to be five. Yesterday they upped it to 12 inches. It's going to start around noon, so that'll be fun. But we will be okay here in Pennsylvania. The walk was pretty cold this morning. It was about 25 degrees. And I know that's nothing compared to where some of you live. It's not the employees that you fire that are the problem. It's the ones that you don't fire that are the problem. Think about it. If you've ever had employees before or if you are working in a place where people should have been terminated, Capitalism, by nature, is a beautiful thing. It's God's work. It's creating. That's what it is. Think about Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Ephesians 5 talks about us being imitators of God in many ways. And one of the ways that we can imitate God is to create. Corrupt capitalism is a bad thing. It's funny how the media can't get that straight. People don't get fed without money. Missionaries' work doesn't get done without money. Bibles don't get printed without money. People don't have roofs over their head without money. But it's funny how a person can be swayed by that. The same money that can feed the hungry, clothe the people that are cold, put a roof over the head of people who don't have a dwelling, that same money can be used to bribe a person. And we're seeing that in government now. It's not capitalism. It's corrupt capitalism that's hurting people. Making money is a good thing. Making lots of money is better. It's what you do with it that attaches the good or bad value to it. A dog had his chain reduced one link at a time every few days until the chain was so short the dog could hardly move. He never resisted because he was conditioned to the loss of his freedom slowly, little by little, one link at a time, over a period of time. That is what is happening to you. You're losing one link of freedom. Think about it. you're on a long chain, okay? And every day they remove one link. And then pretty soon the chain is right up to the stake that's in the ground and you can't move from it. What role will you play in the Great Revolution? One follower, I'm going to try to pronounce his name, Amdi Amde Anbesa Ebanks, says, I was watching George Bruno on how to, found a, on how to find a wife and I decided to do a quick sketch. I don't know where Amde is. If you know the origin of that name, put it down below. But thank you, Amde. My father and the janitor were friends, where he worked at General Electric. The janitor cleaned all the offices. The janitor had a comment. He said the higher the manager, the higher rank the manager, the more boogers were underneath the guy's desk. Pure observation, no judgment, right? They'd be on the phone all day, 
picking their nose and wiping it underneath the desk. Now that's funny. And it took the, the lowest guy in the company to make that observation. You know, the guy that cleans the offices late at night. I told that to my father. <laughs> the higher the manager, the more boogers under his desk. Can't make that stuff up. If it comes from the mouth of a standard American evangelical Christian, it's BS. Add Tim LaHaye, Paula White, any, any televangelist, anything from Salem Broadcasting, which I don't like, any pastor in skinny jeans, any wor worship center, any hand-raising brainless chorus singing church and their followers, it's BS. There's no solid theology. There's no sound theology. It's pop psych with a religious flavor feel-good stuff. It's too late to change events. It's time to face the consequence for delivering the proof and the policy of truth. Never again is what you swore the time before. Depeche Mode, 1990. You just heard that song in your head, didn't you? Can you believe it's been 30 years since Depeche Mode came out? That is weird to me. It just occurred to me yesterday. That song is 30 years old. What in the world? You heard me say this yesterday, and I'll say it again today. In the same way they played up the virus, they will play down the adverse effects and the deaths from the... that needle thing that starts with a V. Why? Because that's what they do. Yesterday, uh, towards the end of the day, I got home from work. I was doing some work outside the house. Bumped into my neighbor who was filling up his snow blower with gas. And he had gotten a generator and he was showing me his generator and how it, he had it. Uh, he's not running extension cords. He had a, a jack installed on the side of his house and this big massive plug thing that'll go into the side of his house. And the other one into the generator, which is in uh, like a large enclosed unit. We were talking about uh, what's been going on and how to be prepared. And he showed me pictures of his the dough that he got. And, you know, he'll fill up his freezer with meat. Talked about land. Good buddy of his has 65 acres in northern Pennsylvania, up near Elmira, New York, near the border, like way up there. Has a little cabin. Sounds like absolute heaven up there to me. Beautiful. Land is the new money. Did you hear me? Land is the new money because your food is on the land. You can grow, you can hunt, you can fish on your land. You can protect yourself on your land. Think about that. Land is the new money. And with that, finish your coffee. And I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show, probably after I do some shoveling. Luckily, there are some neighborhood kids who are going to do uh, shoveling in my area. They've already been <laughs> contacted, and they will be shoveling tonight. I'll probably have to shovel. Maybe shoveling will be my exercise tomorrow morning before I do the daybreak show. Or I'll do part of it from the snowy road. Your goal is to gain sanity, clarity, and reason. It will get you through everything. See you tomorrow. Thank you.